Hey family, it's Brian Moss, minister of Brooks Avenue Church here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and co-founder of favorandfaithfulness.com. You know what time it is. It's Touchpoint Tuesday. Let's tap in. The true purpose of all spiritual discipline is to clear away whatever may block our awareness of that which is God in us. That's a quote by my favorite 20th century theologian, Dr. Howard Thurman. But the real issue is the biggest faith blocking obstacle that we face today is doubt. Let me define it for you. Google defines it this way. It's a feeling of uncertainty or lack of conviction. The biblical definition of doubt suggests that we have two minds about something. It's this idea that we are torn between two opposing issues. In other words, we're not quite persuaded one way or the other. Have you ever been there before? Listen, if we're honest with each other, we've all been there before in a spiritual space or place where we're just not sure. But, you know, we talked about this a little bit on Sunday, but let me be clear about it in this moment. Doubt isn't just the biggest issue we face. It's the biggest issue facing the body of Christ today. It's a collective problem in congregations all across America. That's that's one of the best reasons to involve yourself in global missions. Family, sometimes our American box that we keep ourselves in makes us believe that God is dead if he's not done. But I've seen it for myself. God and Christianity is alive and well in the world around us today. But here's the problem we have. You see, family, we have so much access to so much information that we believe this information is the key to everything. But the reality is this. We think if we can just Google it or find a YouTube video on it or listen to a podcast about it, that we can find the answer. But, but hear me well when I tell you, we must make a decision right now, today, to believe God. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. You know that, but we need to choose today to believe in a miracle working God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. When we don't, we end up with kingdom casualties. What's a casualty? Well, a casualty is a person or a thing that's badly affected or by an event or a situation. And kingdom casualties are the consequences caused when kingdom people don't believe. Sunday, we talked about three kingdom casualties. Here, number one, when we don't believe, we run the risk of rejecting the one that God sent to redeem us. Family, let me tell you something. It's dangerous to reject the one sent to redeem you. If you reject the redeemer, there's no hope whatsoever of redemption. Here's the second kingdom casualty. When we don't believe, we rob our redeemer of the honor he's due. Listen, we owe him honor. As a matter of fact, the Bible tells us that everything we do should be done for his glory. And here's number three. When we don't believe, we miss our opportunity to see him perform miracles. We miss this opportunity when we don't believe because sometimes Jesus refuses to perform in places where people are not persuaded. Don't cause kingdom casualties. Choose to believe God. Family, I hope that this Touchpoint Tuesday has been a blessing to your life. Listen, I want you to know I'm praying for you, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. God bless you.